Hey everybody, Derek here, and in today's video, we are diving into how good can AI content really be, especially automated AI content where you're using tools like ChatGPT or OpenAI. As you know, recently I just launched the AI SEO system where you literally can paste in keywords into a sheet and it will spit out long form SEO content. And so one of the questions that come from one of the last videos I did was how good is this content and how is it going to look from a search engine standpoint? be nice to see some examples. So that's what I did. I pulled a couple of articles. I'm gonna show you what those articles look like. I highlighted them in yellow. I just pulled a couple of random ones here. So you can see right here, this is the article that I pulled in. All I did was just copy this right here. I copy this, I come into WordPress, I use the text editor instead of the visual editor. I pasted it in and this is what you see. So I put in two articles here. One is Bluehost versus GoDaddy and then the other one is the keyword mapping. So what I've done is I've put this together and we're just going to go through this together and I'm also going to show you what this looks like inside of a tool like Surfer SEO. So Surfer SEO as you know is a pretty good tool from the standpoint of being able to look at what the content looks like comparing it to what's on the first page and it gives you a surfer score and so what I want to show you is what these scores look like completely unedited because what we're doing here is we're grabbing our main keyword then we're adding in the content we're adding in subtopics frequently asked questions inside the content and as a result we're also wrapping those into the necessary h2 tags and you will see what these scores look like here in just a moment so the first thing this particular article if we look at it i'm going to go back to the spreadsheet i'm going to go back between browsers here so you see this one is 2650 word 54 words of content our bluehost versus GoDaddy article is 2,446 2, on the word count. So let's, let's just go back here. This is what the keyword mapping looks like. You can see reads pretty well as the world becomes increasingly digital. Businesses are turning to search engine optimization to improve their online visibility and attract more customers. Okay, this is not something that is like spun or anything like that. This is using... 100% ChatGPT. This is using the ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo model. And this is what you see. What you see is what you get right here. So you can see what is keyword mapping. Then we go down here. Why is keyword mapping important? How do you conduct keyword research? I will link to these articles in this description of this video so you can check these out. The one thing that I want you to keep in mind is this is a starting point for you. You can come in here and tweak these very, very easily. And this is something that I'm gonna be going over in the upcoming training that I'm doing as part of the AI SEO system. So not it's not just about a tool, even though it's a tool that will allow you to crank out articles in bulk, SEO articles in bulk, I'm gonna show you inside the training how to use this to where you can tweak these at a, at a very fast pace so that way you can get the absolute most out of the uh, out of the tool so you can see right here what are the challenges of keyword mapping what are some common uh, keyword mapping mistakes so this is all related to uh, keyword mapping now if i plug this in surfer i just want to show you what the sc score is i've already done this so this is keyword mapping unlocking the power of search engine optimization is the title you can see just copying this from the the format that it was in and pasting it into surfer here this gets a grade of 63 so you can see here the word count the content structure so when you're looking at this from a 30,000 foot view could you add some more headings yeah you could add some more headings instead of eight headings you could add you know you could double that up uh, real easy and you can make this article better but again this is a starting point you can clean this article up are these articles going to be 100 perfect 100 of the time the answer is no the reason is because you're doing this from an automated standpoint you're literally pasting keywords into a sheet and having the system work for you while you're out doing whatever and then you just simply come in here and make the necessary tweaks to make it fit uh, what it is that you want now if you scroll down here you can see this is this is the article in in, in its entirety. Uh, again, this is unedited and we're getting a score of 63. So not bad. Now let's look at the next article, which is the Bluehost 
versus GoDaddy. You can see which is the better hosting provider. You can see Bluehost versus GoDaddy as our subtopic, which is better for hosting. They've got a pricing comparison, customer support, website builder options, WordPress compatibility, security features, uptime and speed performance. Now, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna open this up inside the server so you can see what this score is as well. All right, so you can see here, this is our Bluehost versus GoDaddy. This is Inside Surfer. You can see this gets a 65 score. Again, this is all without doing any kind of edits. This is simply paste it, copying it from our Google Sheet right here, pasting it into the Surfer, uh, pasting it into WordPress and then pasting it into Surfer to see what the scores are. So again, these can be cleaned up really, really quick. At least you're not having to sit there in front of the computer, babysitting prompts, having to worry about you know which prompt is gonna work and that sort of thing, you're able to just fire these off at a very rapid pace. So the other question is, is how long do these articles take? Well, typically these articles take around four, sometimes five minutes, sometimes it can be a little bit more. It's all going to depend on the uh, AI, the API, of uh, of ChatGPT as well as OpenAI, how long the API, how much it's getting bogged down. I've been able to get some of these done really, really quick using this tool in off-peak hours, like at night, weekends, simply just coming in here at night before I go to bed, pasting a bunch of keywords in, and then just letting it run overnight. And then when I come back, typically, they're all done. So in the previous video, and I'll link that in the description as well, I did 184 articles overnight. I did it while I was at a show. So this is uh, this is what these articles look like. Again, you will find the links to these articles in the description below, so that way you can check these out. Also, I will link to um, I will link to the the previous video that I did, and as well as well as you can check out the AI SEO system by simply going to AISEOSystem.com. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Derek Pierce here, and I will see you in the next one.